hello dear students and once again welcome back to this online class video this is the fifth and the last part of this chapter 12th smart charts of class 5 subject mathematics there will be also a unit test of this chapter smart charts so after this video i will provide you the link of the test so before that let's finish this topic first growth chart of a plant let's see Amit sowed a few seeds of moong dal in the ground. The height of the plant grew to 1.4 cm in the first 4 days. After that it started growing faster. So here is the table, days and length in cm. So in first 4 days its growth was 1.4 cm. In next 4 days means next 8 days it was 5.4 3 cm and so on. Amit measured the height of the plant every uh, 4 days after every 4 days and put a dot on the chart. For example, if you look at the dot marked on the 4th day, you can see on the left side scale that it is 1.4 cm high. Yes, there is a bar graph. We will see that. Now look at the height of each dot in cm and check from the table if he has marked the dots correctly so here is the graph so left side here you can see the scale this is length of plant in centimeter 1 centimeter 2 3 4 5 centimeter and so on and here are days first 4 days 8 days 12th days 16 days and last 20 days so here is the red dot you can see and when you will measure in a scale so you will found that it is only 1.4 cm similarly next dot is here after 8 days and it was how much yeah 5.3 yeah by uh, taking a scale you can easily find it and many more are here so now it's time for answer some questions find out from the growth chart okay a between which days did the length of the plant change the most? First 0 to 4, second 4 to 8, third 8 to 12th, fourth 12th to 16 days and last is 16 to 20 days. So for that here we have to check the chart. So first check 0 to 4. So it is uh, how much? 1.4. Next 4 to 8. It was 5.3. Next 8 to 12th. It was 9.5. Next 12 to 16. It was 10.2. And next 16 to 20. It is only 10.9. So here you can see the difference that between which numbers there is much difference. So clearly it is looking that between 5.3 and 1.4 and 9.5 and 5.3 we have the differences so now what are their differences so between this means uh, 4 to 8 means 5 point sorry 1.1.4 and 5.3 we have only 3.9 means this is their difference and in between 8 to 12th day the difference is uh, 9.5 and 5.3 so let's subtract it so we will get 4.2 so which has much difference yeah 4.2 means 8 to 12th days so there we can tick on the option 8 to 12th days now next uh, what could be the length of this plant on the 14th day 14th day guess so in the table in the chart there is no uh, list of 14th day so it comes between which day yeah 12th to 16th day so let's see what is the length between 12th to 16th day it was 9.5 to 10.2 means the number should uh, between this 9.5 to 10.2 so let's check where is that so let me write 9.5 and 10.2 so 
so 8.7 it may be not because it is less than 9.5 9.9 yes it is coming between 9.5 and uh, 10.2 now next is 10.2 so it is exactly 10.2 so we cannot take it and 10.5 is bigger than 10.2 so it may be not so yes second will be our answer 9.9 now last question c will the plant keep growing all the time no definitely not because after a time the growth of everyone means uh, plants animals and human beings the growth is stopped after a time now what will be its length on 100th day so it's just a moong dal plant so its height should between means less than 20 cm not more than 20 because it's a moong dal now make a guess we have already guessed it and this guess may be different from your friends now let's know the height of some plants which we use to decorate our bedrooms so first is spider plant yes and its height is generally 30 cm means till 30 cm it can grow now second is snake plant and generally it grows uh, between 20 cm to 3 meter now come to next two plants here we have aloe vera and its height or we can say it can grow uh, between 60 cm to 100 cm and last here we have a rubber plant and its height is generally 3 meter so in this way we have known the height of some plants and now it's time for the unit test so its link is given in the description box just watch it and click the link which is given in the description box and then uh, a google form will be open uh, it is completely mcq based there will be 10 questions with 10 marks so good luck for that and after completing the exam must share your marks in the comment section so good luck and now goodbye